And that last win for Illinois, the 18th on the season, makes their resume look like this. Strength of schedule is great. Top 20 RPI, not great, but getting better. Five wins against the top 50 team. And according to Jerry Palm, after beating Michigan, they're now the last team in. They've still got a game against Rutgers on the road and then the Big Ten tournament, so they got work to do. But you see those five wins against top 50 ranked yep. teams. Where is Illinois on their hopes to make the tournament right now? I think they're right on the doorstep, and I think you have to continue this road by going to Rutgers and winning. I think that's something that you can't lose sight of. You're not in there yet, and you're not in the Big Ten tournament yet. You need to go on the road, take care of Rutgers, and continue to handle your business and do what you've been doing really well over the past couple weeks. Now, the issue with this team has always been consistency, and it hasn't been consistency of effort. It's been consistency of finding chemistry on the floor. And I understand why it's a problem, and I don't think a lot of people get this, but it's a kind of a compilation of guys that have a ton of individual experience but not a lot of time playing together. And you, it makes sense why they're gelling at this point of the season where now you're finding the right rotations. you got guys understanding their roles. I think Tijon Lucas at the point guard position is probably where they should have been all year because Tracy Abrams is never going to be able to give you the, the amount of minutes that you would have needed from him at the point guard spot. And I think Tracy Abrams in the starting lineup playing more off the ball. You need his leadership. You need the guy that can rally his troops together with Malcolm Hill. And I think they've got everything in place to make a nice little run. I even think they can do it in the Big Ten tournament. Well, that's the thing. What they've done the last four games by winning them all has put them in a position yeah. where now the work's ahead of them. Right? Yep. You can't, you're right. You can't afford to lose that Rutgers game. You can't afford to be out quickly. Yeah, the, the, the work's ahead of them, but you can see it. I mean, right. there's a it's picture there. of it. I mean, you really can see the picture of it. You say, there's the light. We need to go get it. And I think now you understand what it takes not only to win in this conference, but to win outside of this conference. They played a good schedule. They beat VCU, beat BYU. I think it's BYU's a very good basketball team. Mm -hmm. Just haven't had the type of season that they, they were supposed to have. So they have good wins. And then they took care of some business in the conference, even throughout those ups and downs, to the point where their resume looks good.